Welcome back. Dreamcatcher's Fish and Supply hanging out. I'm Austin Neary, owner, founder, guide at Dreamcatcher's Fishing. Today, going to be talking about some absolute brain blowing, mind blowing knowledge. If you're not ready for it, put a USB in your ear, upload this information. And one more thing. You can get everything that we talk about and everything behind me at dreamcatchersfishing.com. That is our online website, dreamcatchersfishing.com. Today we're going to be talking about choosing the right lures in the right conditions as far as color. The right lure colors for the right conditions. And I have graciously just pulled a bunch of Mega Bass Vision 110s and Plus 1s off the shelf. We're going to be talking about uh, colors and when I throw what color jerk bait. So, and, and hard baits too, like uh, any really hard bait, crank baits, uh, top water, pretty much any hard bait, what I'm looking for as far as color is concerned. All right, so when I'm thinking about choosing a color of a lure, the number one thing, or I guess the two things I think about are water clarity and light. So when I talk about water clarity, what is really, what's the clarity of the water? Am I dealing with muddy water conditions? Am I dealing with extremely clear water? Uh, you know, what is the water conditions? Do I have a mud line? Do I have, you know, just, is the water color green? Is it is it real clear as in just like gin clear? Uh, there's a bunch of different water colors I think about, but then also I think about the light. So what am I talking about? The light. As far as the sun goes, right? Is, do I have an overcast day? Do I have a partly cloudy day? Or do I have a bluebird day? So those are the real, those are the light conditions. Um, and then water clarity conditions. So I want to choose the right lures that have the best visibility for the light conditions and the water clarity mixed together. So what is that? All right. When I think first off, I'm gonna start off with, with the light. When I think about, okay, I'm choosing a color lure for the light. If it's sunny, I want something that's highly reflective. What I want is a bait that's most visible, right? So if it's sunny out, I want a bait like this is a mega bass, it's called an M Shad, available at dreamcatchersfishing.com. But an M Shad, literally, I don't know what the M stands for, but I think it might stand for mirror. It is literally a mirror. I can see my face in the reflection of that bait. It is purely chrome and almost looks like a mirror. The reason why is when that sun hits it, it sends flash way, 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 way out in the water column. So when it's clear water, uh, like a clean green or just clear gin clear, a lot of sun, I really like an M shad. I like something that reflects light a ton. I want to reflect light so the light travels through the water column uh, the best, all right? So let's say that I have uh, muddy water, muddier water, but I have a lot of sunlight, all right? I really like to go with uh, something that has some reflection but has a lot of chartreuse in it as well. And the reason why is chartreuse will flash Hues of chartreuse will flash when light hits it in darker water. So this is like the LG bone color. Really, really like the LG bone. I also like the LG bone uh, in overcast water, but I'll get to it. But the LG bone has got a lot of like almost chromey gray stripes on it and then that chartreuse belly. So if it's sunny and then some uh, darker water, I like an LG bone, all right? So if it's purely sunny, clear water, I want something highly reflective, right? Because when light hits a shad, it sends a lot of flash. So when I think about that, I also think about just being natural too. So a thread fin color like this, it looks super, super natural. It's highly reflective, a little bit of chartreuse flash on it, but the thread fin shad by Mega Bass looks a lot like a thread fin shad, but has a lot of flash to it. So once again, when I think about sunny, I want something super reflective. So I've got M shad when it's sunny and clear, thread fin when it's sunny and clear, and I even really like Tennessee shad when it's sunny and clear, because once again, high reflection. Sunny, but then muddier water. I like an LG bone, and another one of my favorite colors to throw when it's sunny and then uh, muddier water 
is uh, this one's called Table Rock Shad. What's crazy about Table Rock Shad, it's really hard to see. It's got a purple back and then just a faint chartreuse stripe and then pearl all down the side. But when you see it, when the light hits it, it's unbelievable. The entire bait kind of looks like a glowing chartreuse minnow in the water. Once again, it just has to do with visibility. I like that little bit of chartreuse when I'm imitating a bait fish like a jerk bait is or top water is or crank bait is. I want something that has some chartreuse in it in that muddier water. So uh, sunny and muddy water. I really like table rock shad and I really like LG bone. They're very similar as far as the color goes. Both of them have kind of that purple back. Both of them have hues of chartreuse. All right, so if it's overcast, I really want to pull, pull out a lure that absorbs the light, okay? So when it's overcast, if I take a shiny bait like an M Shad or the thread fin out and, and hold it up in the, hold it up in overcast, you're, it doesn't look like anything. It just, it, you're like, okay, it's chrome. It, it doesn't reflect the light. But if I take uh, a French pearl or a sexy French pearl or uh, even a stain reaction and I take it outside, just outside of my store when it's overcast and hold it out there, what happens is that that dark, almost bony color, that bone color absorbs the light and I'm telling you, it like glows. It'll hurt your eyes staring at it. And uh, so when I'm thinking about if it's clear water and it's overcast, I want something to absorb the light. It almost, I want it to glow. So when I think about that, Think about once again, a stain reaction is absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, it just absorbs the light. I've caught some giant, giant bass on a stain reaction jerk bait. Also, sexy French pearl, another great color. Why? Once again, if it was sunny outside, this bait doesn't really have a lot of flash to it. But if it's overcast, that color gets pulled. It, that color really pops. The, the It absorbs the light. It pulls the light into it and makes that color pop. So something... Uh, bone pearl, the French pearl is great. Another one that's absolutely great is the matte shad. Once again, it has zero, like it's not shiny at all, but in the clouds, oh my gosh, this thing absorbs the light and it looks so unbelievably good. Uh, I really, really, really love it. So those are absolutely my go-tos. Uh, French pearl, which I have over there, I just didn't grab one. Sexy French pearl. Uh, Stain Reaction and Matt Shad are my favorite go-to jerk baits when, and even topwater baits too. Really, this is what I tell people. A little, little, little uh, dialed in tip right here. If it's sunny, chrome. If it's cloudy, bone. If it's sunny, chrome. If it's cloudy, bone. And then if it's kind of in between, uh, I like to go with kind of an in between color. So. This is a pro blue, right? It's got your blue back and then it, it has, it's see-through, but it has some flash to it, but also it has a deep pearl belly so it absorbs the light. So not only will it be visible when the light hits it, but it also be visible in the clouds. And then likewise, with the Tennessee Shad color. It's got that very reflective top of the back and that kind of yellowy chartreuse, but the belly of it's pearl. So once again, if it's partly cloudy, I really like a bait that has the potential to not only reflect the light when the sun comes out and then, oh, it's behind the clouds and all of a sudden it's glowing, uh, you know, glowing with that, that French pearl base. So those two are absolutely my favorite. And then really when I think about overcast and, uh, muddy water really these are my go-to's one is the pm twilight chart once again a pearl belly right so i've got the i've got the overcast the light absorption with the pearl but then i've got that super super chartreuse bright back absolutely a killer muddy water jerk bait you have so right when it's muddy water you want something chartreuse i got my chartreuse when it's cloudy i want something pearl i get it both in the pm twilight and then likewise this is the stain reaction ob which stands for orange belly that orange belly really sticks out in the mud right that chartreuse orangey just that kind of popping glow color and then once again that stain reaction is really good when it's overcast so those are how i choose my bait colors uh you know it's pretty it's pretty much that easy i don't really venture out from that too far but uh as far as jerk baits crank baits top water goes i really like to focus my baits around those general rules if it's sunny chrome if it's cloudy bone if it's muddy water a little chartreuse if it's clear water more natural look
today.